You're chattering. At a little yellow house in West Tawakini, you can count on a couple of things. A curious cat that will definitely interrupt your interview. Eight years. Uh-oh. I figured he might do that, yeah. You'll also find a house full of reminders that a child with a congenital heart defect lives here with a mom fighting for his life. Um, to be honest, devastating. Devastating to find out that her son Braden was born with a hole in his heart and that after that surgery, a pacemaker would be next. Two years old, two and a half to be exact. So here's the good news. Braden is 12 now. He and his pacemaker and his sense of humor <laughs> yeah, uh, are doing just fine. A lot of people think it's just old people who always, who, who always have that pacemaker, you know, like them old geezers. <laughs> Can you say that? Like me, like me. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but his family wants to talk about all this because this is a pediatric heart awareness week. Urge families to get their kids tested early. Don't wait until it's too late. We don't, you know, talk about it and, and turn this, what could be a very scary, grim, you know, experience into something positive and, and letting people know that they're not alone, then everything he's gone through is in vain. A message Braden shares with any other kid who might be facing the same. My heart's still beating. So I just tell him, well, it's going to be okay. God's got you. You're in great hands. And if you ask him really nicely, this 12-year-old who comes from a family of musicians will let you hear his heart. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. And I'm honestly grateful to the doctors and especially to God and technology, you know, that he's here. Still here with a song in his heart, a pacemaker keeping time, and a message to the next kid that their next verse is possible too. I love you. You totally, <laughs> you totally undersold that. You totally undersold that in West Tawakani. I'm Kevin Reese.